so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys another modded outfit from the outfit transfer glitch now i've already done this outfit but the other video got copyrighted because of the song and i tried to change it but the whole thing got muted so i'm just going to be uploading it again so remember that with the outfit transfer glitch you do lose all your outfits except for only one so before you start you want to go ahead and equip the outfit that you don't want to lose also go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece and when you're ready to start the glitch come to the clothing store set your spawn location to last location hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character now you don't need to have the white joggers to do the glitch the glitch is going to give you the white joggers so one more time you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start make sure you put the outfit on that you don't want to lose once you get in here make sure that your female character is on the left and from here all you want to do is go over to your second character and it's either going to say edit or delete if it says delete under your second character just go ahead and delete her or him and then two new characters are going to walk in and then you're going to get an edit option for your second character once you get an edit option for your second character go ahead and select it and when he or she is going you're going to get this alert right here that's going to ask you if you want to copy your stuff over just go ahead and accept it once you get in here if your second character ended up being a female like mine change it into a male and if it ended up being a male just leave it as a male go ahead and save and continue make a random name for it and after that you're gonna have to take the picture when you take the picture and it's loading it may or may not play the casino dlc trailer for me it's gonna play but for some of you guys it may not play so whether it plays it or not it's not going to affect the glitch you're just waiting to get spawned instead of a new session Once you get spawned inside your new session, the first thing you want to do is open up your map and check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. If you don't see any clothing stores in your session, all you got to do is go to online, find a new session or just switch sessions, and then the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session. But if you do see the clothing stores in your session, just make your way over to the nearest one. So if you don't see any clothing stores, just switch sessions, and then the clothing stores are going to be in that new session and if you do see the clothing stores just go ahead and make your way over to the nearest one once you get to the clothing store first go to the top section go to t-shirts and buy the charcoal t-shirt but i think we got that on already but for you guys just go to tops go to t-shirts and buy the charcoal t-shirt once you got that you want to back out stay in the top section go to biker cuts and purchase the charcoal patched denim cut so come to the um, biker cuts and purchase a charcoal patched denim cut So this one right here once you got that you want to make your way over to the pants section go to the shorts and purchase the tan stripe boxer shorts so just come over here to the pants section go to the shorts and purchase the tan stripe boxer shorts so once you've bought them you want to make your way over to the shoes go to the sneakers and purchase the pink plain high tops so just come over here to the shoe section go to the sneakers and purchase the pink plain high tops so which should be the first ones once you got that make your way over to the gloves which is going to be in accessories and buy the light woodland tactical gloves so just come over here to the accessories go to the gloves and purchase the light woodland tactical gloves once you got that you're going to come save the outfit when you save it, make sure you save it in the empty slot that's on your main character. So if the outfit that's on your main character is saved in slot 20 or like slot 12 or whatever, you will just save this in a different slot. So just save it in the empty slot that's on your main character. Once you save it, just go ahead and back out, open up your interaction menu and take the easy way out.
Once you spawn outside, hit your pause button, go to online and click on creator. Once you get inside a creator, click on create a race and then click on land race. Once you get loaded in, click on race details. Just go ahead and fill out the title and the description. They don't have to be anything specific. After that, go ahead and take the photo, put the maximum players on two and then set the route type on point to point. Once you got that, hit your pause button, open up your map and warp over to the airport. Once you get to the airport, hit your bag button, click on placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place it down, back out of that, and then click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it, and then back out of that, and then click on the checkpoints. Now it doesn't matter how many checkpoints you place down, as long as you make the race 1.00 miles long. So just go ahead and make the race one mile long, and then hit your bag button twice, so either B or circle, and then it's going to give you the option to test out the race, and you just want to go ahead and test it out. Once you finish the race, you're going to get this completed alert. Go ahead and accept it. Once you load in, hit your pause button, go to online, and click on choose character. Once you get loaded in here, all you want to do is go over to your guy character that got the outfit on, and you're going to delete him. So make sure you go over to your guy character, you don't want to delete your main character by accident. Go over to your second character that got the outfit on and you're going to delete them. Once you delete your second character, two new characters are going to come in. From there, hit your back button, so either B or circle, and then it's going to take you into single player. Once you get inside a single player, hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GT online, and just go inside of an invite only session. So all you're doing in single player is going inside of an invite only session. So it looks like I forgot to change my spawn location to my last location because it would have spawned us at the clothing store. But wherever you spawn at, first thing you want to do is make sure you save your outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be saved. So whether you spawn at the clothing store or your apartment or wherever, you want to make sure you save your outfit. So if you spawn at a clothing store, just go inside the clothing store and save it. If you spawn inside your apartment, just go to the wardrobe and go save the outfit. When you save the outfit, make sure you save it towards the bottom, so slot 20 or wherever. It doesn't matter as long as you save it towards the bottom. So now once you're done saving the outfit, if you're at the clothing store, go to the deadline outfits and buy the white deadline outfit. So I'm just going to go ahead and make my way over to the clothing store and buy the white deadline outfit. So once you're done saving the outfit, just go ahead and buy the white deadline outfit so once you got that just go ahead and back out hit your pause button go to online go to jobs play jobs rockstar created and go to versus and start up crook cops remember when you start up crook cops in the settings you want to put the clothing on player owned or the glitch will not work so make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either one friend or one random to join so once you get inside of here just go down to owned outfits hit right on the d-pad once 
then just go ahead and ready up so just go down to owned outfit and hit right on the d-pad once and then just ready up Once you get inside of the job or the mission, all you want to do is open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories, put on either a rebreather or an earpiece, and then close your interaction menu, open up your phone, and quit the job from your phone. So once you guys load inside your online session, you should have the outfit on. So from here, just go ahead and delete the component because you don't need the component anymore. But make sure you save the outfit and then delete the component. But anyway, once you got that, that's going to be it for the um, outfit. So if you guys enjoyed the video and like the outfit, don't forget to drop a like on it. Share it, subscribe if you already haven't. And don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on further videos.